We're in Dartmouth. And this is neat because this body of water, you wouldn't know what to look at it, but was the first sort of holding place, if you will, in a Shubenacadie canal system that uh, at one point led to the Bay of Fundy. So that's kind of neat. And it's another first for me. My first interview with Mr. Ryan McGrath, how are you? I'm great, thank you. We're, We're at Sullivan's Pond. We are. Now you love this place. Uh, well, or it holds I, don't, I don't know about love it. But okay, well, it holds some sort of meaning for you. It does. Yes? You I, wrote I a used, song about it. It's true. I used to live uh, just like two blocks that way. Okay. And um, I used to sort of take a shortcut through here to go to the grocery store. Okay. And uh, at night, all these trees, well, most of them light up. They have little twinkly, twinkly lights. lights. Nice. So I always thought it was very pretty and yes. it kind of reminded me of like a Disney kind oh, of scene. Neat. So. Anyway, one night I was walking through and I started fantasizing about, you know, people waltzing among the trees and, you know, just a little, yeah. a little headspace I went to and, uh, yeah, so a melody popped in my head and I ran home and, and wrote, and wrote it. it. So now it, it, it uh, Sullivan's Pond will forever be <coughs> musically immortalized, immortalized. and yes. there you have it. So Ryan McGrath, you are, if I can go out on a limb and say a renaissance man, would that be a fair assessment? Do you like that? How do you describe that, yourself? I love that. That's perfect. Is that true? <laughs> Do uh, everything. Well, I, I try. I you know dabble and yeah. Yeah. And it all comes out. You know, I mean, some people write music and then it's a song, but it's more of a production. Like I'm listening to the tracks on your album, and mm -hmm. you're probably going to throw me over this little balcony here. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to say it's a cross between mischievous and melancholy, kind of like Baz Baz Luhrmann's Moulin Rouge hits a disc. Mm. What do you think? I like that. Is that, that fair? Yeah, I've heard the mysterious thing, but I haven't heard the mischievous thing. Yeah, which is and melancholy. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, most of my songs, even if they are more upbeat, tend to be on the melancholy side. That's but you're a happy guy. Well, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> There's, he's like an onion. There's yeah, many layers. Exactly. CNBC celebrates the four Atlantic provinces, and you're from where, where exactly in Nova Scotia? Uh, I was born in Antigonish okay. and uh, sort of lived between Antigonish and, and Guysborough County okay. most of my life. Growing up. And now you're yeah. a Halifax guy. I came to Halifax in 98 to okay. go to NASCAD. Yes. Um, so I graduated from there. And, and then you've just sort of been since. hovering. Okay, now tell us a little bit, because we like to get the inside scoop on where the cool people go. If somebody said, uh, where should I go shop? Uh, biscuit. Okay. It's great. That is cool, yeah. isn't it? Um, Put Me On, which is a consignment shop on Queen Street. Yes. Uh, I'm a huge vintage person. Me too, eh? Person, so, yeah. Don't overlook it, because there's lots of really good uh, consignment-y shops. Um, how about a pint? How about an adult beverage of sorts? Where would you go an for that? An adult beverage. <laughs> uh, well, the Carlton is actually where I've been Hanging frequenting out? lately. Really? Or the shoe shop. You know, that, that strip is yeah. that's pretty awesome. You can't go wrong. Actually, I just discovered a, a, a new me, place. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The G Lounge, which used to be seven. Okay. Seven is not, seven yeah, is gone? Yeah, I'm so out of the loop. I gotta but hang out with Ryan McGrath. The G Lounge is, G -Lounge. is very cool. It feels very sort of, it uh, feels very Montreal, actually. I would not belong there. They'd be like, not cool enough. Oh, Out. Yeah. Really? Can anybody go in? Oh, you yeah. have to look good, though, right? It's a. That, I went in a t shirt. Did you? Yeah. Did you, you emanate cool, Ryan McGrath. <laughs> okay, now um, here's the other thing. You are uh, making the rounds, if you will, uh, spreading, spreading the music of Ryan McGrath. Mm -hmm. um, you're touring, uh, for the most part, in Ontario. Are you pl making plans to go beyond? Uh, yes. I, there's lots of things in the work that I, works that I can't really talk about fully because you no know, waiting to hear stuff but I will be right. in Ontario for two to three weeks That's good. in October and are you happier anywhere out, like where's your happiest place um, is it is it the stage yeah I mean it the stage is definitely the place where I feel the most grounded yeah I think um, because it's so in the moment yeah you know and you're not thinking of your life and your personal life and the next project, you know, you're just there to perform and, and yeah. create. Uh, as far as like a geographical location. Sure, give me something. Um, probably where where I grew up, where my where my parents live. Yeah. It's in the country in Guysborough County. It's pretty pretty serene. place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're standing on a stage. Have you ever performed here? No. Really? I haven't. You should. It would be good, eh? Yeah. Are you yeah. doing a music video for Sullivan's Pond? Uh, I have the concept. Do you need a co-star? Sure. Could I be like it's girl number four by a tree? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I think it will have like a waltzing theme. Will That's it? kind of the concept, yeah. I'm not a great dancer, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Yeah, I had a, um, there's an amazing landscape painter in Halifax called Gordon McDonald. Yes. And uh, he sort of pitched this idea to me. Wow. And, uh, so, yeah, who knows? It may happen, but... Very good. Now, but I am releasing a video. I know. We have to talk yeah. about this. Okay. Uh, Ryan McGrath, uh, fresh off uh, a private island. Is mm -hmm. that true? Give us the mm -hmm. scoop on this. Uh, private island in the middle of the Bay of Fundy. Okay. Uh, it's an incredible spot. It reminds me of Jurassic Park every time I go there. Okay. If it's in the middle of the Bay of Fundy, though, you're mm -hmm. losing your beach. Are you losing your beach? You are, but you have to time it. Okay. You know, okay. it's like the water goes out 40 feet and comes back up. 40 yes. Feet. So yeah, I went out there with uh, an amazing filmmaker, cinematographer, Jeff Wheaton, and a, a small crew, and we went out and filmed what I think will be a, quite a beautiful video. Yeah, no and, doubt. Uh, yeah. And for what song? God forbid. God forbid it ever happens to me. What if it's in my This guy come to you? Did he pitch you? What happened? How did the process? How, how did it all uh, well, come together? Well, I've known him for years. We have a lot of mutual friends, and I I know his work. He's worked with uh, a lot of artists who I admire locally, and and uh, so yeah, we were sitting around one night. We were going to a wedding, friend's wedding, and and uh, I just said, you know, it would be awesome if he made a video for me. And he hint, was kind hint, of waiting wink, for some wink, things wink, to nice, happen, nice. and 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 he called me like a week later and said, let's do it. Right. And now we have another, he has another concept for another video, and which I'm really excited about. You, can so. you give us a scoop, just even the track title, and then we'll uh, just let our imagination run wild. It's uh, the track called My Boyfriend, and it involves a, a war scene. Neat. Lots of, lots of CGI. I could be girl number three by the, uh, <laughs> by the trench. <laughs> no. I'm never getting a role in one of your videos. You might. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Well, no. we're, we're in a video right now. Well, that's it, eh? All right. I'm glad you're here. Ryan McGrath, thank you for taking the Thanks, time. Stephanie. At Sullivan's Pond, the light, the light of a new love, Sean.